Cyrus Jones. Uh, you already said he had a drop. Well, he had a couple a couple muffed punts out there, and he also got beat by Danny Amendola on a deep route, which I mean, Danny Amendola probably runs about a 4.7, 4, 40 at this point, so that's not a great sign uh, for a second-year player to, to get beat by him. It's strange to see Cyrus Jones out there at number 41 also because yeah, that's, like a, that's like an undrafted safeties it's, number. It's a cut-in-camp number. Who, yeah. who had it last year? Cedric Thompson? Yeah, Some Cedric Thompson had it. guy who you probably have never heard of. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Whenever not, I see him out there, I'm like, why is that safety playing cornerback? And then I have to remember, oh, no, that's Cyrus Jones. Yeah who kind of looks like a safety playing cornerback. Yeah, but no, he really, I mean, basically the reason he was drafted in the second round, he was a good cornerback at Alabama, mm -hmm. but he was drafted for his his punt return ability, and he just hasn't been able to, to put that together whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is a very small sample size. He caught punts for about 10, 15 minutes today. Yeah. And some other players had did, did, didn't fare particularly well in, in the gross weather. Danny Amendola yeah. had, a, had a drop. So not everybody was perfect. Some of it you can chalk up to the rain, but he just, he just seems lost. It's it's strange. There was one who just completely misjudged it and fell down, and then got up and kicked the ball out of frustration. He's there's a long way to go, but he needs to long way to go, and he's going to be afforded opportunities because he was such a high draft pick. But he has to get it together if he if he wants to have a chance of making this team. Yeah, and it, it's tough for him too because Patriots bring in stuff on Gilmore, so now they've got Butler, Gilmore, and Eric Rowe as those top three cornerbacks, which really only leaves two more spots on the roster for cornerbacks, maybe three if the Patriots are being generous here. And those two spots could easily be filled by Jonathan Jones and Justin Coleman. So yeah. it's not as if there's a, a direct path even for him to make this roster. There is because he could beat out those guys, but he has competition. And it's not going to be easy for those cornerbacks to make the roster. He's also competing against some undrafted guys like DJ Killings, uh, Dwayne Thomas, and Kenny Moore. So. There's some competition in the position, and he has to start showing that he can be better than those guys. Yeah, we should, we at should, this point, it's every miscue counts, too, right. when you're on the bubble and yeah. competing with, some, with other guys. And just stop. a quick note, I mean, obviously you can't read too much into the uh, defensive and offensive alignments here, but Cyrus Jones was running with the second team yeah. while Jonathan Jones was playing slot on the first team yeah. defense. So who knows what that says. Obviously, I think Jonathan Jones played better than Cyrus Jones in both sides of the ball last year in special teams and in defense, so maybe he even is a little bit higher than him right now despite being an undrafted guy just a year ago.